Hello guys. Today we are gonna discuss remote procedure call commonly known as RPC. What does this mean? What's the functionality of it? Why do we need it? No worries. I'm here to explain all these questions in your mind. To begin remote procedure call let's start discussing a conceptual model for conventional procedure calls. This is how conventional procedure calls look. A conventional program consists of one or more procedure connected to single main function and procedure calls. One by one like this. This is an extension of procedural model in which we have two computers having distributed programs and procedure calls. Can be extended from one computer to another by using R, P, C, paradigm in this figure main program of computer 1 accesses procedure 4 of computer 2 through R, P, C. Now we move on to conceptual model of execution that explains flow of control during procedure call and return a single thread of control begins in main program passes through procedure R and B and eventually returns to the main program. This is all we have to make you understand R, P, C. Now let's discuss about RPC retransmission procedure. In RPC retransmission, we will discuss about retransmission strategy and implementation of a simple timeout technique. One thing I would like to bring under your notice is that RPC retransmission never guarantees reliability. So let's start with an example. We have two machines. Machine 1 and Machine 2 with a respective set of procedures, or we can say remote program. Both the remote program are sharing global data. We are having local procedure call and remote procedure call. Local procedure call means calling procedure locally within a single remote program. In remote procedure call we have calling from one remote program to another remote program. Let us consider an RPC by default timeout of 20 milliseconds then that RPC is again retransmitted after that timeout. This is all we have for RPC retransmission and I hope you had a better understanding of it. It's time to wrap up the things now. Let's summarize what we have learned till yet. The remote procedure model helps make distributed program easy to design and understand because it relates client-server communication to conventional procedure calls. The remote procedure call model views each server implementing one or more procedures. Like conventional procedures, remote procedures accept arguments and returns one or more results. Using the remote procedure model helps program a focus on the application instead of communication protocol. The programmer can build and test a conventional program that solves a particular problem and then can divide the program parts that execute on two or more computers. Finally, I would like to say something about this project. We would like to thank Ms. Akanksha Palmer for her constant encouragement and inspiration to complete this project. Our team includes Sherin, Varad, Bijenda, Tsunail, Sarita, Isha and Jyoti. It's only because of team effort that we have accomplished this project. Few more words or you can say experience that we got from this project. A carelessly planned project takes three times longer to complete than expected. A carefully planned project takes only twice as long. 